Mario and Peach. Peach and Mario. A match made in heaven, isn't it? No, no it isn't. Why would anyone ever think that a plumber and a princess would be a good match? Not only are we talking about two completely different upbringings and lifestyles that the two would have to overcome to be together, there's also the insane imbalance embedded into their relationship of Peach continually depending on Mario to save her from kidnappings. These two are supposed to resemble many different plot tropes all at once. Peach is the damsel in distress. Mario is the unstoppable hero who will travel the world. Well, actually, he'll travel eight worlds, plus occasionally one more to save his one true love. And of course, they resemble the story of the princess and the pauper, royalty and peasant. But don't worry, I'm sure these two can make a happy life together. No, no they can't. And if they could, it would have happened already. Well, either that or Mario is literally the worst closer in the history of dating. But I honestly think there's something else happening here that explains why Mario and Peach never actually get together. And no, it's not because Nintendo primarily focuses on a younger audience, children can see two adults kiss without it traumatizing them. The real reason these two never do the horizontal dance of genitals is because Mario, deep down, doesn't actually love Peach. <gasps> In fact, they hate each other. And believe it or not, their actions actually back this up. We're about to get a little psychological, so sorry in advance if you end up needing extra therapy after this video. Mario certainly needs to see someone, and let me explain why by asking you a question. Who is Mario without Peach? What I'm trying to ask is, can you describe Mario without talking about his physical appearance? If you think about it, you really can't. The guy basically has no emotions. Other than the occasional stereotyped Mamma Mia, there's really nothing going on behind that bushy mustache. Really, it's impossible to talk about Mario Mario without referencing what he does for Peach. You could say he's a hero, or he saves people, but that's really describing what he does, not who he is. Deep down inside, there really is nothing to Mario's personality. One of the first videos we ever made on this channel is actually about this very topic. We came to the conclusion that Mario is really boring as fuck. There's nothing going on in his head that makes Mario unique. Just take a comparison of Mario and Luigi. Luigi is a scaredy cat, squeamish, clumsy, cowardly. What adjective would you use to describe Mario? I guess the most descriptive word would be... Italian? Well, that's actually not the most descriptive word. There's one word that describes him perfectly. Mario is a codependent. Now I want to take some time to explain what that means, because I'm going to make the assumption that many of you have no clue what I'm saying when I label Mario as a codependent. Codependency is a type of dysfunctional relationship where one person supports and enables the other to the point of excessive reliance. In more layman's terms, a codependent person feels that their job and identity is to take care of the other person in every sense. A codependent person puts the goals and life of the other person in the relationship a head of their own. So Mario is the codependent in the relationship, whereas Peach is the dependent, meaning she completely depends on Mario. Now I can understand if this is a bit confusing, so let's start applying it to Mario and Peach. Mario supports Peach to the point that it is actually unhealthy for their relationship. Peach relies on Mario to get her out of almost any bad situation she gets into. How many times has Mario rescued Peach? I don't know, maybe 50 times? How many times has Peach rescued Mario? A big fat goose egg. This type of inequality in a relationship creates a dependent codependent relationship wherein Peach now expects to be saved and Mario believes it's his duty to save her to the point that his identity as a person is based around Peach's dependence on him. Codependent relationships are marked by intimacy problems much of the time. So if Mario and Peach are in a codependent relationship, we should see intimacy problems in how they interact. Well, do we ever hear about Mario and Peach doing anything together alone? No, we don't. Even when Mario is supposed to go over to Peach's castle, it's usually for some sort of formal party or Luigi is also invited. Never are they intending to spend intimate time together. Even in other games like Mario Tennis, Mario and Peach aren't partners. Outside of rescuing Peach, the two never spend any intimate time together, and that's a sign of an unhealthy relationship. Only when we see Mario finally rescue Peach do we see any sign of intimacy. And even then, we're usually only talking about a peck on the cheek. These intimate moments are fueled by their codependent dynamic. They feel close to each other after Peach is rescued because Mario's empty identity has been temporarily fulfilled by saving the princess. Whereas Peach, as the dependent, wants Mario to save her and feels temporarily infatuated with Mario because she can continually depend on him. 
Generally, in a healthy relationship, there's a good amount of give and take, of compromise and communication, of needs between the two people involved. Yet Mario and Peach don't resemble this at all. From what we can tell, Mario never asks anything of Peach. Yet many times we've seen Peach ask Mario to come over, to save her, to do this task or that. Again, this is an imbalance in their relationship. And even though Mario has good intentions and wants to be helpful, he's doing it to the point that his entire life revolves around the next time Peach wants him to do something. Over time, Mario will eventually feel like he's a victim in this relationship, choiceless and helpless and unable to break away from the cycle a codependent relationship causes. Let me break down that cycle. Peach needs rescuing. Mario goes through hell to save her. Peach feels more reliant on Mario to be happy. Mario feels that Peach isn't capable of taking care of herself. Then Peach gets captured again. Peach now expects Mario to save her. Mario, believing that Peach is incapable of saving herself, goes through hell to save her again. Peach feels more reliant on Mario, Mario's belief that Peach cannot take care of herself without him is validated. And so the cycle continues, over and over again, until Mario literally feels trapped in a relationship that he cannot leave. Because if he did, Peach couldn't take care of herself. Whereas Peach feels trapped in the relationship because she believes she needs Mario around to make everything okay when things go wrong. So when you're playing a Mario game, traversing from castle to castle to save Peach, remember, Mario isn't doing this because he loves Peach. This is the sad cycle of a codependent relationship. Each feels trapped and bound to the other. More likely than not, they resent each other because of their individual losses in identity and individuality. After years, no, decades of this dynamic, they secretly feel despair and hate towards each other. Which is why we never see any intimacy or interaction between them that isn't within their codependent structure. So don't see these games as a man saving the woman he loves. Instead, just see it as the newest installment of a codependent relationship continuing a cycle that has gone on for so long that neither Peach or Mario has any chance of breaking free from its clutches. And if you think they're the only video game couple with issues, then you'd be dead wrong. Let me know if you guys enjoyed my analysis of Mario and Peach's relationship. And if you did, maybe I'll keep doing videos like this. I'm sure there's plenty to talk about concerning a certain blue hedgehog and his pink-haired mistress. And as always, I want to know what you think about Peach and Mario's relationship. This isn't a show where I just try to list facts. I'm giving you my opinion, and I want to hear yours. Other than that, you guys know the drill. Notification squad! Click the bell, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in a couple days. Grant out!